Three, two, one, action. When we meet Dr. Michael Morbius, he's basically at the end of his life. He's a brilliant doctor, he's in search of a cure. He's getting closer and closer. He's kind of breaking some rules in order to, to find the cure and to help people like him. And since it is a rare disease, there aren't many people in the world that, that share his affliction. But, you know, he's hopeful that if, if he can find a cure for this group of people, then, you know, maybe he can help others like him. But, but initially in this, this first chapter that we spend with Dr. Michael Morbius, you know, he, he's very thin, very frail. He, he walks with the use of crutches and um, he's deteriorating before our eyes rapidly. He, he is in fact actually the, 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 the person who's lived the longest with this disease. People have a very short lifespan. So um, yeah, we meet him at his most frail, at his most kind of, um, you know, desperate. And, you know, we go on a journey, on a ride, on an adventure with him as he uh, tries to uncover the secrets and to find a cure. When it comes to action, I come from a very kind of realistic point of view. Uh, uh, I was raised with the movies from the 70s, so I was always after something that was gritty and very natural. Uh, me and uh, Oliver Wood did Save Us before, where we followed the kind of born tradition, you know. But uh, on this movie, I wanted to take a step to the, to the left, you know. I, I thought it would be interesting to look at more Asian picture, you know. Asia has a great kind of tradition in working with uh, superpowers, uh, augmented human beings, and they have a more kind of uh, visually challenging way of uh, showing these superpowers than we've seen in most American movies. To help me with that, I got Gary Powell. Gary Powell is one of the strongest uh, second unit directors and stuntmen in the business. Uh, and to be able to work with him side by side like a brother, I think has improved the picture. And I think that uh, I think the action will be something special, something different. Uh, one, two, three, action! Boom! This ain't you, Doc! Oh, Daniel, he's he was amazing to work with. Um, he speaks Spanish, so there was there was times where I felt like we had our own secret language. Um, which is fun, so sometimes he would give me a note in front of Jared and he, Jared would have no idea what I was coming into the scene with, or he would put pull Jared aside and tell him, oh, come in with sort of this. Um, so that was fun, and I hadn't been directed in my, in my language in, in a really long time, so it was interesting to me, and I, I, I feel like all my emotional memories are in Spanish, so it was just surprising how easy being directed in Spanish felt to me and that was a big discovery for me um, sometimes it was rude sometimes we would you know we would be like wait no now we're going off beat we need to speak in English um, but it was really it was really interesting I didn't I didn't know that about myself um, and I think Daniel Daniel's really great as a director because he even even with a movie like like this it's the big epic Marvel superhero movie but he still made it feel quite independent and made it feel really intimate. So I think none of us really felt like we were in something that we couldn't control um, and sort of gave us the space to play, to shift around dialogue if we felt like we needed to. Um, there was not that many marks on the floor. Um, so he really gave us a space and, and helped us discover the scenes before he marked um, or before he showed the crew, so that was really that was really nice to be in a movie like this, but still have so much freedom. It would be a cure. Yes, but at what cost? I brought this into the world. It's up to me to take it out. 
Michael, please. We're blessed with a wonderful cast. Um, Jared Leto is 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 a uh, you know a, a brilliant actor and has proven it time again. Um, and he has uh, you know a very particular individual process, but one that I found quite interesting. To be opposite, I guess it depends what sort of actor you are, whether you like that or you don't. But for me, I find it you know sort of bizarre and interesting. And I like uh, how brave he is with his art and his craft and he takes that very seriously and he works very hard. One action. One action. One action. Ready? And action. Nice. There you go. We got it. Daniel Espinoza has let me, um, he came up to me right away and said, you're my baby bird. He goes, go for it, fly. And um, they're really letting me loose and letting me do a variety of takes. I just came off of a scene where I was um, questioning Morbius for the first time and really let me and Jared Leto go for it and do anything we wanted. So it was, um, in terms of that, it's an incredible opportunity for me to improvise in a big Sony movie. So it's cool. We should probably finish talking upstairs, Doc. Got a couple more questions for you. Dr. Morbius, Agent Stroud. Daniel Espinoza, is, is the best person for this job, period. There's nobody that could out-direct him for the movie Morbius. I mean, it's like Christopher Nolan, Daniel Espinoza, Daniel Espinoza, Christopher Nolan. That's how I feel with how committed he is and passionate he is about shooting every scene in his movie. And seven. And Eight, and nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Dan Espinosa, as a director, very, very, very welcoming, um, very encouraging, collaborative, interested in um, your ideas, even the bad ones. He doesn't make you feel like a fool because you've picked something that's blatantly unusable um, and um, he just politely says you know that one maybe not that but um, and that's really what you want as an actor you want to be able to pitch your ideas and instincts um, uh, you know we're not writers but we do have ideally what you want is at some point you want the actors to know their characters better than the writers because um, and we're supposed to sort of, you know, dig down deep into that sort of specialist subject, if you like. So, um, and uh, yeah, he's he's been great. Loved it. Getting to work with Jared was was incredible. I learned I learned so much from him. His dedication and commitment to the role and to and to the movie is really something that I I just admire so much and I, I definitely was constantly sort of picking at him like, oh wow, that's really interesting that he does that or he does that. Um, and and I just it was like going to acting school in a way. <laughs> you know, I just got to be with a master and and not a lot of people get to do that, so I feel incredibly lucky. Um, Matt Smith, I think no one moves like Matt Smith. I mean, the way that he moves his body and sort of embraces every character, and I see his work, and, and I, I'm just blown away by him. Um, and getting to work with, with him was also so much fun. I think it was one of my favorite scenes that we shot was, was that office exchange, um, because he holds so much power in a room, and, you know, I, I just didn't... Obviously, I expected it, but doing a scene with him, it was all we did was play. I don't think we did a take 
a, a take the same, and, and that was super fun. Al, it's impossible to do scenes with him because all you do is you're dying laughing. You really have to come in prepared and focused because, man, to keep a straight face around him is is quite tough. And and Tyrese, Tyrese is a character. I mean, no one is more entertaining to me than Tyrese. I think he's he's incredible. He has a huge heart that barely fits on his chest, and he has some of the best memes I've ever seen. <laughs> he's amazing. He's just he's Tyrese. He's amazing. What's different about this movie is that, you know, like Venom, it, 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 it kind of lives in its own universe, self-contained universe. Sometimes it's a bit scary, sometimes, you know, you're on a full action ride, adventure ride, and uh, other times it has you kind of guessing and surprises you. But but I, I loved all of that, the fact that, you know, it's it's it takes you on a big ride but also there's complexity with character. You have a Jekyll and Hyde element. So yeah, I think it, it, it's, it's, it's got a, it's, there was a lot to be uh, attracted to here and I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to be a part of it.